What's up gaming heroes and welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. In today's video, I am playing Aeroscythe once again. I look like a young man with my face freshly shaved. I look like a sausage. I'm sorry guys. Uh, I'm on my weight loss trip and sometimes just like to have a little little cheeky shave. A cheeky shave here and there. Gets rid of the neck beard. <laughs> if you can even call it that. But let's get into the episode. Alrighty, so we are going to be checking out how much gold we've made. And because I've had some people accusing me of buying my own auctions, which is absolutely stupid, and I've got better shit to do in my life, um, I'm going to be showing you all the details with this stuff. So, Molite Ore, 14,000 gold. Dude, I want I, I don't even care about that. I want to show you Felcloth Ore. I sold this within, I think it was like an hour and a half. Of recording the last episode like three days ago i literally sold it within like an hour and a half it was like the most insane thing ever i, I was like how 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 did that happen it's insane so uh <laughs> so moonlight or oh, fourteen thousand gold from someone called jiraiya they bought that uh let's have a look fell cloth nine thousand gold so that was from pina with a funny eye, Kalada. So just in case people want to message them directly. And just confirm who they are. Multiple buyers on that one. Cerulean Pigments. Champion. Champion. Love it. Obsidian Ore. Multiple buyers. Heavy and not hide leather. Multiple buyers. More Obsidian Bars. Multiple buyers. Obsidian Ore, 23k from Obsidian Ore. Tom Banks. A guy called Tom Banks got that. Uh, what else we got here? We got Adamite Bar, 46,000 gold from Kisaragi. Kisaragi. Or Kaiseragi? Cool name. I like it. Auction House Cut, 2,400. Uh, ah. Dude, that's crazy. And then Belt Cloth. I sold for... 163,000 gold. How many did I sell? I sold 390. Look, what's that maths? Quick math. Come on, Erosian. What's, what's the quick math there? Pearl cloth, 390. 163,000 divided by 390. It means I sold them at 417 gold a pop, which is pretty epic. We're going to look at that flip in a minute. Apart from that, no other significant flips, but we're at 290,000 gold in the mailbox, baby. Yeah! Some serious gold. I love it. Right, we're going to have a quick look. I just want to look at the Felcloth one on the ledger, which I'm really proud of. Oh, we're nearly at 6 million gold, dude. That's insane. All right, ledger. Uh, exp oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Revenue. It's revenue. And then sales. Let's look at sales and look at... Oh, there it is. Bell cloth. Bell cloth. I bought 94 gold each. So I bought some for nine uh, for 103. And then I bought some for 94 gold each. I sold them at 397 gold each. That is disgusting. So I I quadrupled my profits. Wow. How much how much did that cost me to buy it? 20,000 here and 20,000 here. So 40,000 roughly. And I made <laughs> 100 and how much is that? 163,000. 163,000 minus 40. Uh, 123,000 gold profit. Boom, baby. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Boom. That's some epic gold, dude. Wow. I'm I'm so pleased with that. So 291k in our bags right now. So what I'm going to be doing is prioritizing the items that I know sell on the auction house, which also are high value items. So I'm going to be changing the way I'm flipping up a little bit now. That's what I'm going for. All right. So I'm, I'm actually going to just ignore all of this right here because we can look at that afterwards. 
right now I, I've got some specific things I want to buy on the auction house. Fellcloth is first. Fellcloth, let's have a look here. How much is it? Oh, 220 gold a pop. I'm going to wait for that to drop because I know that's going to drop back down to about 100 gold. And when it does, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to go, boom, mine. And I'm going to buy it back out. But now Fellcloth's too expensive. So let's move on. Wild Vine. All right, let's have a look at Wild Vine. Wild Vine is actually quite cheap there at 2,000 uh, gold, 2,500 gold each. The problem is it's there's so much of it listed on the auction house, it's going to be impossible for me to buy that all out. So therefore, uh, well, the bank, it, it seems really clear to me that this is overstocked right now, which means it's so hard for me to be competing with that. So clearly, so like, I think because myself mainly, um, I've been making a few videos about this. So my best advice is if you're selling Wild Vine right now, because I've been making a few videos about it, avoid this market. Just hold on to your Wild Vine, put it in your bank for a week or two until it's died down again, then resell it. Uh, because at that point, you know, all the, the real gold makers like myself would have bought the auctions out and they would have uh, they would have reset the price back out. But let's wait for this to drop prior by another thousand gold before we, we pick that up there. Uh, let's look at damp scale basilisk guys. Uh, 250 gold a pop. That's actually a fair price. And there's quantity two 2,200. Wow. Te I think Tezabel's one of my viewers. No, I don't think. I know. Tezabel's one of my viewers. I think what she's done is she's actually reset this auction because it looks like she's got like the full amount. Yeah, Tezabel's killing it in the gold making. That's so good to see. I'm so proud of her. All right. Let's look at Primal Air. 750 gold a pop. That's really like a healthy price, actually. That's a really nice price. A moat of air. Let's have a look at that. That's a really nice price as well. Wow. Okay, so these are good markets to farm in right now. Primal Fire. Amazing, amazing. People are keeping these prices really high right now. So this is like perfect positioning for people to get into. Let's have a look at Golden Pearl. Wowzers. Dude, all of the markets that I covered in my recent video has blown up. I wonder if this one has as well. No, it hasn't. It's not Right, this is good. This is actually quite good. So, oh interesting interesting so i've got a little bit of competition here but not much which is great so i i own the strangle kelp market typically i like to own it it's it's a it's a really annoying one to farm so what i do is i buy it out like so and then i post it back up wow look at how much they've put it up you need three million gold for that that's ridiculous oh my gosh right what else is inconvenient strangle kelp Wild Vine, Damp Scale, Basilisk Eyes. What's the other one? Erosium. Abyssal Crystal. Is it Abyssal? What's the crystal? Fragment. That's the one. Fragment. These are very annoying to farm. Now, I just want to have a look at how many I could potentially buy. That would cost a lot of gold, but that would also get six mounts. No, it would get three mounts. So that's not actually that bad, but no, it's not the right, right market for us. Right now, all the stuff that I usually live on and make tons of gold from, it is all a really high value. And I'm presuming that's because of the video that I made a couple of days ago where I released all the gold farms for that. I'm thinking that people are probably really in those markets right now. As a result, uh, usually I, I can make a banging profit from that. But hey, it is what it is. And that's that's the fun of the game, isn't it? So let's go ahead and look at my usual markets of ore. And there we go. Let's run a scan. Okie dokie. The first thing I'm noticing, gold bars look quite cheap. Uh, there is a lot listed right now. How much would that cost just to reset to like here? 
8,000 gold. How much is gold ore is the question. I've already got quite a lot of these, so it'd be, uh, it'd be a shame. Gold ore is 12 gold a pop. Well, that makes sense then, doesn't it? It makes sense to just clear that out. Done. Cancel my auction. I just want to buy out. Like, yeah, so this is 200 gold a pop now. Great. Uh, gold ore. How much gold ore? Let's have a look here. If we're buying out the bars, we really want to take a position on the ore as well, which we will buy up to, yeah, this mark here. I'm happy with that. That's super. Let's have a look. Mithril bar. Too many. Titanium ore. This is actually a pretty good flip right here. These should be about 256 gold a pop. And they're listed quite cheap, actually, looking at it. How much would I flip this up to? Probably around... Uh, if I'm going to go to here, I may as well just flip the entire lot. How much would that cost to flip the entire lot? Probably a lot of gold. 90,000 gold. Oh, that is a lot of gold. And it doesn't have a high sale rate. What's the uh, titanium ore? Can I even smelt that? northern doesn't it titanium i can't smelt it yet so it wouldn't be useful for me to to make a position on that but what would be useful is is like going around the edges so up to here maybe twelve thousand, and then i'm looking to make 15 gold a pop on 124 so 15 times 124 it's not that a lot it's not that much Let's just have a look 124 Times 15, 1,800 gold. Yeah, it's not that much if I was flipping it to this much here. You really want to make a full position play if you're going to do it, but that means you have to buy out quite a lot at 84% market value. Just not, I'm not prepared to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is just buy this one for a cheeky, you know, 10 gold each. Unfortunately, I'm just not prepared to lose that much gold on this. Uh, it, it's a slow seller, so... it. it I would just have to say goodbye to my gold for a little while. And I don't really want to do that yet. 20 gold a pop for fell iron ore. It is inconvenient to farm, in my opinion. You can farm it quite easily, but it's inconvenient because people don't like to go farm it. Fell iron bars are similar price. Why are fell iron bars so cheap? Fell iron bar, fell iron bar, fell iron bar. Right, my auctions are here on my other character. Parseum, right here. Hmm. <laughs> Bell Iron Ore. I, could, I do have a position in this. So if I would buy all this out, I'd be selling it for like three gold more. Which is an annoying position to be in, to be honest with you. But I'd have to buy a lot to get it over 27 gold. A lot. How much would that get? See, I'm only resetting the price basically up to like 23 gold. So I'm getting three gold a pop on 1,300, which is only three gold, uh, 3,000 gold profit. So I'm going to stay away from that. It's not a good position for me right now. We want to be able to go in, go in on these flips really easily, but this does not look like a very good one. I do actually need quite a lot of ghost iron ore right now. So I am actually going to buy some ghost iron ore. I'm not going to buy for 4,000. I'm going to probably buy 1,000. And just see how we get on with a thousand. Uh, we are going to be doing some Pandaria blacksmithing soon. So that's why I'm looking at that. Eternium ore. That should be 72 gold. How much would it cost for me to buy all the way up to here? Let's just have a little look. See, 5,900 gold is where it would position us to. How much is the, the sale speed? Okay, and what's the Eternium bars looking like? Eternium bars. I actually can't see Eternium. Eternium bars at 98 gold each. And how much was that again? Takes two of these to make one bar. And bars are 98 gold each. 
these are 30 gold each so there's 60 gold so you're looking at 38 gold profit Thirty-eight gold profit per, which I actually quite like. Uh, this one obviously wouldn't be; it'd be that's seventy-four gold each. We're still in profit. That's that's lovely. Okay, so what we're gonna do is is smelt up half of that. That's a great buy. Platinum or as cheap as chips right now. One earth. So I usually buy this at six gold thirty and sell it at seven gold twenty. So this is very very cheap. Someone must be doing some type of play there. I'm not sure what it is, but they're doing some type of play. I'm going to ignore that because it looks like someone's messing about with it. Stay away from that for a minute, I think. Bell Slate, that looks way too cheap. Oh, no, it should be about 20 gold, but it's not too bad. Elementium ore is definitely cheap right now. But someone's flooding the auction at the moment. Like if I was to try and buy that, it cost me 78,000 gold. It's just too much gold. Oh, but it's such a good flip. It is such a good flip. To If I was to flip it back up like at 18 gold a pop, how much would that be? 18.96 times 6, 4, 6 equals 121,000 gold. So I'd make, I'd make these, I'd make ends meet about 40k. It's definitely a, a potential. It's just I don't like this flooded market situation here. That's what I'm not liking. That makes me uncomfortable. I'm going to stay away from that because flooded markets are no good. The second you buy it, uh, the guy could just literally transfer it to another realm, then transfer it back again. And that's just like, okay, well. Auction's broken again, <laughs> you know. That's why I hate this whole people being able to transfer and just buy stuff in one realm and then transfer to another realm and sell it there. I hate that. It's just so terrible. It's not good for the auction house at all or the economy. Okay, let's have a look at the cloth. Shaldorai silk. It's looking quite good, actually. It's flooded again. Why do so many of these auctions are flooded, dude? It's so hard to make ends meet when it's so flooded. My gosh. Eternal water. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's an all right price, but sorry, I'm not really feeling this. I don't know why. We've just not got a lot of potential right now on in terms of flipping. I'm going to stay away from that. And what I'm going to do instead is we're not going to focus on flipping this episode. We're going to focus on leveling pandaria blacksmithing because i think there's a lot of gold i can make from pandaria blacksmithing so that's what i'm going to focus on okie dokie so it is saying 575 ghost iron bars first is first though i think i need to smelt up half of my eternium so let's smelt 40 eternium because that is getting me such good gold there and then what we're looking at is 575 ghost iron ore uh which i can only smelt 500 oh my gosh so we got a little bit of we got a little bit of work to do here gonna have to buy some more that's fine we can do that quite easily right i can't be asked to smell anymore so i'm gonna buy them uh we're gonna buy 350 there you go and then spirit of harmony we need a few of those spirit of harmony we need quite a few actually of these so let's just buy 30 yep we're buying 30 of those that should do us fine okay that's perfect so we've got everything we need now to start our blacksmithing career <laughs> la, 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 la. so let's go now to the jade forest dawn's blossom if i do recall Okay, so where's that blacksmith trainer again? He, if I do recall, he's down in just past Dawn's Blossom. If I do recall. Let's find him. He's over here, isn't he? Is that right? 
Len the Hammer. There he is. Okay, so he teaches me the basics of blacksmithing. And as far as I'm aware then, so let's have a little look see what we need to do. What do you need to do? 25 folded ghost iron. Uh, no worries, Tinkerbell. Can do. I'll deliver you the finest ghost iron folded nuss in all the, the, the world. And because I'm a mechanome, I can craft that wherever I so please, Tinkerbell. So, how much gold? Oh my gosh, dude. 59 gold a pop. A profit. Damn, son. I'm missing out on some gold for this, you know. Wow. I tell you, when I've got full blacksmith and sorted, I'm going to make so... <laughs> So much gold from Blacksmith. It's going to be unreal, dude. I'm looking forward to it, dude. Forward to it. It's going to be so much gold. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love this part where you start to get, like, uh, you, you get, like, a quarter of a mil, like, liquid cash together, and you can start to actually, like, craft stuff. This is going to be epic. Train, train, train. Ghost forged gauntlets. Times five. I will make five of the finest ghost gauntlets ever seen before. Ghost Forge gauntlets next. Five, 15, 15. 15 of those bad boys. So let's go, go, go. Okay, we need five of this uh, spirit guard shield. And then 20 Ghost Forged Helms. 20 of those bad boys. Craft those, please. Okay, so now we actually need to go buy a recipe, which is why we got a load of Spirit of Harmonies. And we need to buy that from uh, the, the vendor in Bale of Eternal Blossoms, if I do recall. So let's just quickly go find that flight path and fly over that the one bad thing about having blacksmithing on a character that can't use plate is that i can't use plate i can't collect all of these transmogs but that's kind of okay as well uh because i can just send it over to another character these some of this stuff looks so cool like those shoulders Look at that, dude. That's so nice. Ghost Forged Helm. So, so nice. Like, the blue version versus the, the green version is crazy, the difference. Unreal. I didn't even think there would be a difference, but there is. So, I guess the, the higher level you are, the more likely chance you've got of crafting a blue version of the same thing, right? Is that is that what, it, what we're saying? That's going to be pretty cool, dude. I like that. I like that indeed. Okay, we finally arrived, and now it's a very simple process of flying to the back just here, straight through to the blacksmither right here, where we can purchase all of his lovely plans. So that's what we're going to do now, is just purchase each one, and then learn them all. And that's super simple. Now, the reason you want to be doing this is you basically learn tons of stuff that sell really well in the auction house. Uh, when I say sell really well, they sell like often, but not too regular that everyone does it. Because uh, that's really the sweet spot. You don't want something that's going to sell every second because, well, then everyone would do it, wouldn't they? You want something that's going to sell regular, but not too regular, which is these. And the items look fantastic together. They're full sets of equipment. And the way that I sell them is... I don't sell them always on the auction house. I sell them as individual set pieces. So that is to say I link someone the outfit of what the items look like. And then I say, look, this is the price. And they offer me a, a price. Uh, oftentimes I can sell it for a huge markup as a result. A lot of people don't like dealing with the auction house. So it means that I have more of an opportunity to work my magic, get a bit of sales in there. And boom, bang, ping. We made some gold. Uh, it's how I made loads of gold with tailoring. Even though on my auction house, you know, tailoring doesn't always do the best. 
Now, another reason we want to do this is you have a research as well. You have to start researching every day different items that you can craft. So starting this earlier allows this characters to start gaining those recipes. And it takes weeks and weeks for you to learn all of the recipes. So you're better off starting as early as possible. You got to do a daily research and then you, you can get it. Okie dokie, we've now done that. So let's look at what we need to uh, to level up now. 25 Contender Revenant Braces. Putting those all up now. They don't sell for very well. I'm assuming that's because people typically craft these for leveling. Which is fine. That's completely fine. We can still make a lot of gold of these. Just putting them in the sets. But we've got to, be, we've got to start thinking accurately about that and how we're going to do that. Fantastic. Right, we did it. We got it all crafted. That is wonderful. That's fantastic. All of them are crafted, and we've hit the Pandaria blacksmithing cap, which is fantastic. Now I'm just going to do a quick little bit of research on the research for blacksmithing. Hey, I've been doing a little bit of research, and it looks like we've got to kill a few mobs in Pandaria to gain the research items, which is pretty standard. All the other stuff... Uh, like professions and stuff all requires the pretty much the exact same so that's what we're going to do now Tell me of your first of all we need to unlock the isle of thunder I so i'm just going to check if i've got the toy for pandaria or not scouting i don't have the pandaria one which is odd i thought i did i don't know why i thought i did but let's just fly over there and then i'll fly physically to that okay so there's two recipes that we need one uh which drops from a fella over here i can't remember what it's called but it drops from a fella over here and the other one i think is just a random drop in pandaria just kill any mob and it drops like i can drop down and kill one of these mobs if i wanted to etc 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 uh that's the, the theory basically that's what it's saying to me so that's what we're gonna do is there any mobs here that i can kill no okay let's just keep running then Oh, there's a mob here. Just kill that and see if that drops. Apparently, it's a hundred percent drop rate, but let's let's have a look if it actually is. No, it's not a hundred percent drop rate. That's for certain. <laughs> see if this drops it. Let's just do another. I mean, I don't need to be doing this because I'm gonna base mob when I'm in the uh, Isle of Thunder, but it's still good to just to uh, do it anyway. I I think I am maximum blacksmithing, aren't I? For for Pandaria. I am. I just need, I guess I need to keep killing stuff. One of those. Not a problem at all. And this will be so worth doing because the majority of like people who do like blacksmithing aren't doing this stuff. And so this edges my competition out quite a lot. So it reduces the amount I've got to deal with. Now I need to get to the Isle of Thunder. So I'm pretty sure I need to speak to this lady here. Hello there. Travel Remember with Vanessa Windrunner. Boom, boom, boom. Done. And now we travel to Isle of Thunder. Ago. Okie dokie, perfect. Now, uh, we hand this quest in. Kieran Tor Beacon. Lovely jubbly. Ignore all that nonsense. Uh, <laughs> do I need to do this? Allies in the shadows? No, I don't think I need to do any of that. So now I should have the portal to get here anytime I want to in the future. So now I need to go over here. Hard bit about this is there's lots of dangerous mobs on this island. So what we're going to do is pickpocket everything along the way, I think. The horde is searching for a place to land their troops. Uh, I remember we get a lot of gold from pickpocketing in Pandaria, so I'm just going to kill random mobs all the way across the island because what I need to do is kill as many mobs as possible in Pandaria so that I can get the blacksmithing pants. I tell you, these mobs give so much gold just pickpocketing in Pandaria. It's like the best expansion for pickpocketing, I swear. Oh my gosh, Nalak is up. But I don't think I can kill him on my own. He's far too strong for me got a lot of health shame i'm not on one of my ults i could have smashed him okay so around here apparently ah here this is the fella he has a lot of health as well my goodness i'm gonna have to really pull out all the stuff don't i oh well shouldn't be too difficult let's take him take him and his guts full garters there you go do have to be a little bit careful due to aoe that he casts seems to be quite powerful gonna stun him oh i can't stun him 
Whoa, that does some damage to me. Holy hell. I thought I could just withstand that, but it turns out I can't. I'm going to be really, really careful now. Okie dokie. Bit more careful now, Rosium. Just a little bit more careful, I think. Yep, we can't really afford to be taking hits like that again. I can tell you that for free. Lord of Thunder, protect me. What on earth? Let's just heal up whilst this is happening. Immune to all damage whilst that's happening, right? Do I have to click these or something? Oh my gosh, that's doing some damage. I think I have to click this. How do I click it? Oh my goodness. This is mad. Wow, I've never thought I'd, I'd do this. This is quite interesting. I'm still quite low, dude. I've got to be really careful. I need it to back off me, dude. What the hell? Right, and then we need to get to this last one, which is just over there. Okay, I'm not going to go near that one because it looks like it's going to jump me. Okay, fantastic. Oh my gosh, the, the stress this is causing. No, 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 no. My gosh, dude, this is insane. Oh my God. This is actually not, not an easy fight at all. I wasn't expecting that. My goodness, dude, he is so annoying to fight. Keep the healing going, Erosium. Keep the healing going. Dodge all the mechanics. Play the game. Back in there. Oh, no. Worst positioning ever, Erosium. Come on, dude. This is, this is actually not easy. Very fun fight, though. Really, really fun fight. Gotta, gotta say it. They did a good job of this. Boom. We got him. Strange metal ingot. There you go. Oh, that was not easy. Notes on lightning steel. Okay. Investigate the Thunder Forge to find the secrets of lightning steel. Okay. Where is the Thunder Forge? Here it is. Or is it? Oh, there's another one. Ah, okay. Got you. Dude. Dude, that was some madness. That was, dude. I'm kind of impressed in a weird, like, way that I handled that so well, considering I very nearly died, but Mofo went down. Mofo went down. Right, this looks very cool. Look at this. This is gorgeous in here. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Let's have a look what we can learn. So, we have learned lightning steel ingot. Great. And notes on lightning steel. Oh, so the recipes. Oh, that's cool. 
so I'm just learning basically how to craft some pretty cool weapons from what I can see. They all look like weapons. BOE weapons at that as well. So let's see how much gold they're worth. Bet they're worth a lot of gold. Let's have a look. Anything else we need to learn? Okay. Lightning steel ingot. That's that's good to learn. It costs ten a day, so we we should do that. I I'm pretty sure we it has a like a cooldown. So let's have a look. Yes, it has a cooldown, and we just learned dreadful gladiators ornamented gloves. So this is something we're gonna do every single day to learn new stuff. Uh, let's have a look. Dreadful, 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 dread, 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 dread. Where's the dreadful gladiators gloves? Maybe I need to just refresh it. Yes, I did. Okay, so there they are. Brilliant. So we're already starting to like learn some really good stuff now. So these are the weapons. Oh, wow. And I can see how much they cost. Drake fist hammer. Oh, that and it's a that's a dragon hammer. And so basically, I just need to keep making these every single day to craft more. Fire guard reborn. Oh my gosh, look how cool that is. Lion heart blade. That's a very cool blade. Lunar present axe. Planar edge thunder reborn. Dude, blooming hell. There's some good. There's some good stuff here. I like it. So we need to get the next one. The next recipe, which I believe is balanced trillium. And it says its drop rate is just from killing stuff at Pandaria. Okay, so it's just killing stuff in Pandaria. It says, so let's let's just kill stuff for five minutes and see if we get it. And like, probably, maybe it's a good idea to like kill stuff that's not on Isle of Thunder. We'll try for five minutes here and if we don't get anything here, then we'll, we'll move to a different area, like outside of Isle of Thunder. Nothing there. Love it, jubbly, and then just finish them off with another eviscerate. Boom. No luck. Okay, it's the mantids around stone plow. That's what the people are online are saying. So let's kill the, the mantids around stone plow. See, they said on average five mobs. That's what people are saying. On average, it takes them five mobs to get it. Okay, one for me. Four. No luck. There's some ghost iron ore just there. Lovely jubbly. Right. Magic number is just here. This is number five. So hopefully he dropped it. No luck. No luck. I'm just going to keep killing them for five minutes. I actually don't think I can kill this guy. He is a lot of health. He is a remarkable amount of health. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't I'm gonna I'm gonna leave combat. So I can't kill him. Too much health, dude. I, I, I know that the balancing is, is incorrect in Pandaria for rares, but it's absolutely ridiculous, dude. I, it is just ridiculous. The rares balancing is absolutely stupid. How they balance rares in Pandaria is really dumb. Okay, no luck there. We are very unlucky. I've got, I've got to say, we are extremely unlucky. There we go. We got it. Plans balance trillium. 
ingot and its uses brilliant we finally got it so that's good so now we can basically research every single day with that so we'll learn that now accelerated balanced trillium ingot and balanced trillium ingot so let's have a look here accelerated balanced trillium ingot we'll need spirit of the water whoa that's that's expensive how do we get that that's very interesting but balanced trillium ingot i just need a trillium ingot for that brilliant so we're we're actually finally onto something now i don't think i need to do that one every day to be honest i think i need to just do this balanced trillium ingot but i'm not 100 percent Hmm. I don't know what's the purpose of doing the other one, if I'm dead honest. If there is any purpose. Is there a purpose in it? Is it the same thing? We will find out. Balance trim ingo accelerated. I'm assuming that's just like if you've got spare materials type thing. Let's just get a trillium bar. And see what we discover. Trillium. Oh, it's expensive as heck, but we'll buy one this this time. Next in line, please. Buy. Let's craft it. See what we learn. So it's now on cooldown. Crafted malevolent gladiators arm plates of proficiency. Cool. So we're actually starting to learn stuff now. This is also, I think, on cooldown, but we, or we don't learn anything from it. But those two are things we need to do every single gosh darn day. Okay, that is something we have to do every single day. True Steel Ingot, we don't actually gain anything from that, so I'm just going to take that off there. Uh, that's I'm so happy with that. That's really, really good news. And then these Balanced Trillium Ingots will be used in various different crafts, I assume. No idea what crafts they're going to be used in, but I'm assuming that they're going to be used in various crafts. We'll find out. I, I'm sure we will. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I can see here already this stuff it's already involved in. So that's wonderful. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Let's get this stuff posted back in the auction house. Now someone has reset the price of Strangle Kelp. We are going to buy that back out again quickly and then just get it all reposted at the price we want and we're setting. Okay, so now we need to update our blacksmithing groups because we have new stuff on the blacksmithing, which is absolutely fantastic. So go to TSM groups and we go create profession group. 56 items updated. Wow. Okay, let's do a restock for blacksmithing. Whoa, 66,000 estimated costs for this. Given that there's a lot of stuff here that we can't actually craft yet due to not having enough time to get the materials. So we will just take the things off which I, I physically can't craft yet. Uh, lightning steel the stuff with lightning steel and balanced trillium ingots i can't touch at the moment because i do not have the materials to do that okay fantastic so we actually have got some stuff crafted and it's about eight thousand gold it's going to cost us so we're going to go ahead and get that done oh ho, ho, i'm very excited about this dude this is awesome this is awesome and we've got a lot of gold now that we can actually use to to fund all this so for bars, is it just going to ask me to buy all the bars out or is it going to, oh, it's going to give me the option. That's good. That's very, very good. It's very useful as well. The cobalt bars, uh, cobalt ore is, how much does it, do I, can I smell cobalt? One, one ore is one bar. So ore is 45 gold, bars are 45 gold. They're the same thing. Okay. So we buy bars. Makes sense. Next in line, we have. Copper bar. Uh, I don't really care with copper bars. Not that much at all. So we'll just buy that straight out. Fell iron bar. Uh, I believe it is two for one on that. So fell iron bar is actually cheaper. That's completely fine by me. Ghost iron bar. 15 gold ore. So we obviously got to buy ore. Uh, we need 181. That's going to take a while. But it's it's going to be so much better for us to craft that. Than it is to, to do anything else. So we will do that. Okay, so what's that's doing? We need some um, ghost iron bolts by the looks of it. An engineering item, isn't it? I could make that on my alt, but I'm not going to. Light leather. We've got to buy some light leather. It's actually a really high price at the moment. Trillium bars. I can just craft trillium ore. 
into Trillion Bars. Can't I? Do I not know that yet? I don't know it. Have I got to go learn that? I think I do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe I haven't learned Trillium Smelt yet. I'm just going to have to buy it for now. Six though. Oh, it's expensive. Oh well. High explosive gunpowder. Beautiful. And then rough grinding stone. We'll buy that as well. Lovely. So we don't need any ghost iron bars because it's crafting already. Uh, oh, there are, there are some other stuff it wants me to, to buy from the auction house right here. Let's get that scanned as well. Right, what's well, black rock ore and linen cloth? So let's buy the linen cloth first. Black rock ore. Oh, that's cheap. Lovely jubbly. Spirit of Harmony. Ten. Oh my gosh. And then some nether weave cloth. Excellent. I think we've got everything we need apart from weak flux, and we should be good. See, there's a lot that we're crafting now, which is com we're completely new to. So we just need to like start entering into this phase of restocking the auction house every day. And then we will be winner, winner, chicken dinner in all day long. Okay, that's all done now. We just need to get the stuff from the mail and we will be hunkadory. Lovely job. We've got everything from the mail. Now we just need some wheat flux and we are good to go. Let's go, go, go. Give me that wheat flux, mofo. Where's that wheat flux? Give it me. Give it me good. Give me real good. Okie dokie, let's get crafting. I'm, I might actually be able to learn some new stuff here from all this crafting I'm doing here. So, theoretically, from 8,000 gold, we're going to make 59,000 gold. Doesn't seem like a lot, but this is this this is the first step that we're entering right now. The very first one. So, I'm not too concerned at all. This is going to be some good gold in the future, and we just need to get started with it. That's all that needs to happen, is just getting started. Fantastic. So, we've got everything crafted there. We actually... We gained a little bit of levels. I don't know if we learned anything new. Oh, we can learn some new stuff. Cool. And then Drenor blacksmithing as well. We learned a little bit of Drenor blacksmithing. I don't even know how. What did I make? Smoldering something or other. That looks very cool. <laughs> that smoldering helmet does. We'll have to learn some more stuff soon. Actually, we can do that this episode. So let's run the post scan now. Get it all added in. And post it up. Uh, folded ghost iron, that's something we need to make sure is added to the times 20 group. So group times 20 needs to add folded, folded, folded ghost iron. There you go. Add that item to that. Great. The rest, I believe this stuff is already added, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just going to click that and just add it all. Why not? There you go. Run post scan. All right. So the rest of this stuff here. I can technically sell. Why can't... Oh, I've got some of these listed on the... No? Five on Miele listed on the auction house. I haven't got any on the auction house on Miele. What the heck? That's so weird. And it says the crafting cost is, is a bit weird. Why is the crafting cost weird on this? Couldn't be. Could be just normal. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Right, now I do have a banker here, which I can access, and I do believe I have some Draenor tombs in here. Fantastic, so I should be able to actually buy a couple Hello. things from here, which should be good for us, really. So, let's just look. Let's start from the back forward, yeah? I want to go for armor, because armor's cool, right? And it's, again, it's just one of those daily things that we're crafting more stuff for every single day and this will just keep getting us recipes over and over again until we max out on all the recipes you, you gotta max out on all recipes to get all the best stuff who steal a helm i need to start doing my garrison every day in order to get like rush work orders as well that probably be a, a smart thinking very cool that is some pretty cool looking stuff but again, it comes down to I've got to start making true steel ingots and things of that nature, uh, which is going to be super important. So let's make sure that goes back on favorites, actually. 
uh, because that's going to be super important. It's going to become part of our daily ritual whenever we log in, do our daily crafts. That has to happen every single day uh, for us to start making some serious gold in the future. But alas, for now, we've done so much this episode. It's been unreal. I usually record like hour long episodes and then uh, I stick up. But this time I have recorded an hour and 33 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to call it there and we're going to edit this episode down to be really fun. Uh, for you guys to watch so i really hope you enjoyed this kind of bit of a break in like leveling i wasn't trying to focus on leveling today really just trying to focus on pandaria blacksmithing and i think we got some really good progress done and we're going to start making gold with this sorry there wasn't much flipping today but sometimes that's just the case you know i made a video recently which pretty much ruined my own gold farms because i told everyone about them <laughs> gosh rosie you're such a such a clickbait youtuber <laughs> i love it when i get this toast comments dude i'm like I've shown you my best gold farms and you call me a quick beta. Cool. Okay. Cheers to that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rosie Mount, and I'll see you next time.